I am Paul. This is day seven of our Advent series. And this is amazing. If you just look, I'm over here at the Mission Inn in Riverside. It is decked out and decorated for Christmas. Man, it looks great. It looks stunning. It looks amazing. We're gonna take a little walk just to kind of look at some of the things. There's walking down the street. There's gonna be ambient noise. Sorry about it, but this is what happens when you come and you hang out with people and you walk amongst the people. I'm just envisioning Mary and Joseph. Mary and Joseph coming into town. Yeah, you know, coming into Bethlehem. It's a big production. There's lots of people coming in town. They're required to be there for the census. Mary and Joseph coming. She's pregnant. Oh, she's ready to give birth any day. Uh, so they're waddling. They got the donkey. They're waddling in. And here they are. They're scared. They're concerned. And, you know, the family members, are, you know, they're not that excited to see them because, well, they're living in sin. And since they're living in sin, little do they know the true story of it. It's quick, quite easy to judge them. And the family judged them and they said they can't stay at their house because that would be, you know, taking them on. So they come over here to the Mater D and, and he says, you know what, you can't come in. There's no room. All of these rooms up here, all of these rooms, they are, they're, they've already been paid for. And Mary and Joseph just going, what? We've got to, we've got to stay. We, we've, got to, we've got to have a place. My wife is about ready to give birth. Can you imagine that? Just the craziness of it. And the old maitre d' says, you know what? Sorry, can't help you. Well, then he goes, uh, you know, maybe I can. <laughs> maybe I can help you. You know, you got the singers up there and you got the little families over here. Maybe I can. I can help you. I know what we'll do. We're going to, we're going to put you up in a, in, in, in a special place. We're going to put you up in a special quiet place. Oh, and Joseph and Mary go, oh, great, great. And so the maitre d' he takes them out from the craziness of the mission in. He takes them out and brings them over here. I think the lane closed is a perfect illustration because it was closed. The mission was closed, everything was closed. And the owner of the inn, he says, you know, we don't have any room. I don't know what's going on with you two, but you can have that spot. You can have that manger. You know, whenever you think of God, sometimes, you know, uh, God deserves, he de absolutely deserves the grandeur of, of the palace. But he was born in the meagerness of the manger. When you think of God, think of his humility. God humbled himself. He, he, he humbled himself. He became like us so that he could die for us. He became the lamb that was slain. His blood purifies us and allows us to have a perfect relationship with him. We get caught up in all of the glitz and the glamour and the glory. And God gets caught up in the humility of saving people. All right, so this today for the Advent, I want you to focus in on the humbleness of God. He's our hope, he's our savior, he's our redeemer, he's our rescuer, and he's the one who was born in a dull, dirty, dingy, quiet spot. All right, praising the Lord as I just dwell on this. Take care, we'll see you tomorrow, bye-bye.